Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to Shortcuts webinar. Today we're going to be doing, <laughs> doing rebooking 101. So we're going to do a review on how you should be setting your rebookings and this will help you when you're starting your new year and things usually get a little bit slow. This will help you try to capture your customers and make sure you get your new years off on the right foot. So hello, my name is Noah. I'm one of the educators here at Shortcuts. So let's just do a little bit of review. So this webinar is going to be approximately 30 minutes. Now, your audio is, of course, on, but your microphone's been turned off. If you have any questions, however, on the right side of the screen, you do have a portion for questions as well as the chat screen in which you can message privately or publicly. And then at the end of the webinar, we'll actually get a chance to review any questions. So if nobody has a question regarding the setup, we'll go to the next portion. So what are the learning outcomes? So we're actually going to look at some of the quiet times throughout the year. So as everybody knows, you have your dips and you have your busy times all throughout the season. So we're going to try to identify those quiet times and try to see how we can increase some business there. We're going to remind everybody that within Shortcuts, you do have a rebooking tool. So just to remind everybody on staff, if you have a front desk or if you are your front desk, how you can make sure that each of the employees is getting the accurate credit for their rebookings. So how do you entice your clients to rebook? We'll be reviewing that. And how do you measure those statistics? So that, of course, is the purpose of this 101. So let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing you want to do in shortcuts is try to identify your trends. When are your quiet periods? Of course, if you know, when you're conducting the business, you get a sense as to when the customers are in, when the customers are out. It may happen because of school. It may happen because of work. And of course, the season has a lot to do with it. But there are two major ways to identify those trends. One of them is if you're using the Shortcuts Online Console. When you're in there, there is a report portion called the scorecard. So you don't necessarily have to be at the salon to look at your scorecard. Every month, Shortcuts will take a snapshot and analyze your data, see how you're trending, see how your visit numbers are, see how your transactions numbers are, and of course, how your rebookings are, how your client retention is going. So every month, you'll be able to see that scorecard and just see is the business going up, down, or is it holding steady? If you're on the actual Shortcuts program, you can run a report called the Rebooking Breakdown Report. And of course, it takes a look at your employees, it takes a look at their rebookings, and it tries to spot a trend. Are their rebookings increasing, decreasing, or again, holding steady? So if you're using the online console, what are the things you're looking for? Revenue, of course. You're looking for your values, your dips, your visits. Are your customers returning? Are they increasing or decreasing? And your online booking percentages. Are you increasing or decreasing in online booking? And as you study each of these trends, you'll notice from year to year, depending on how long you've been running shortcuts, you'll be able to spot how you were performing. And of course, everybody wants to outperform themselves each year, but you can identify when those slow periods are. In this case, in our test here, we notice that between April, between July, we have a dip. So we know it's not necessarily that the business is going down at this period, it's that the entire industry seems to trend down a little bit during the spring and early summer. So now that we've identified that portion, we're going to consider ways of trying to get customers to keep their appointments or to rebook. So again, the scorecard is available on your online console. So on this next portion, what about shortcuts itself? Which report should you run? So under your tools, in your report category, this is specific to the employees. We're looking at the rebooking breakdown. So this one will show the percentages for each employee. And when you're running this report, you don't necessarily run it for one month or two months. If you've been using shortcuts for a few years, you can actually run the report for an entire year. 
and see throughout the year how are the employees performing. Are they able to get customers to rebook? Are they reminding them that it's very important that they stick to a schedule, especially when treatments are concerned or colors are concerned? So you want to make sure when you're running your rebooking breakdown, look at the big picture. Don't just look at a season or two. Look at an entire year. This gives you a really good sense as to how the employees are performing. So once you have your information, how do you increase your rebookings? So what can you do to increase your rebookings? One of the easiest things to do is in shortcuts. There's a little checkbox that you can say so that you remind customers at the point of sale, would you like to schedule your next appointment? So if you have a front staff that sometimes forgets to do this, or if you have an employee that sometimes forgets to schedule the customer's next appointment, shortcuts can always remind them, would you like to rebook? So something that can, uh, can incentivize the team members is if you were to create some sort of program to reward them, to remind the customers and to do some follow through with this. So we'll actually take a look at where this portion of the program is. So we're going to jump out of PowerPoint for a moment and jump into shortcuts. So in shortcuts, and let me move this webinar tool, you may not see it from one side of the screen to the other. You would go to Setup, and there's two things you can do. Under Setup and Configuration, on the left side of the screen, this is one of the easiest things to do. When you're in your Sales button, you're looking at Point of Sale on the far left, and there's a little checkbox that says Ask to Rebook. It's just a few spaces down from the top. <clears throat> when you tag this, at the point of sale, a customer will be prompted if they'd like to rebook. So in this case, it is actually set. So let me show you what happens. I have a customer, Carol here, and she's checking out. Now for Carol, we'll just assume she paid with her credit card. And before I press the end sale, this is the portion where Shortcuts is going to remind me, ask Carol if she wishes to rebook. So right from here, I can choose her next visit. And I can say, for example, set it six weeks from now. Oh, I think I'm using up all the memory on my computer. Let me launch Shortcuts again. Sorry for this. <coughs> Pardon. So again, from the point of sale, I'll bring Carol back in. <clears throat> She'll pay for her service. And shortcuts will prompt to rebook. Now, I'm not going to do that again, because chances are the system is starting to run a little bit low on memory, so I don't want to trigger an error. But normally, you would bring up the rebook screen and just set their next appointment. So that is usually the easiest way to remind customers to set their next appointment. But what if you're very particular about making sure that each of the staff members does some sort of follow through, that they're encouraging the clients that they work with, that it's important that they try to get them to do some sort of schedule that can, they can stick to. This would be the next portion that you can ensure under your setup. So we'll return to setup and configuration and on the left side, <clears throat> we're going to the General button. Under General, there is a button that says Appointment Book. And within Appointment Book, there is a checkbox that says Rebookings Prompt to Assign Employee Credits. When a customer schedules their next appointment, Shortcuts will ask, who was the employee that should get credit for this? And it'll give you a list of your staff. Once that employee's been tagged, now Shortcuts knows specifically who is reminding their customers that they need to return. 
So this is a very useful button. So shortcuts can always remind the staff members, does the customer want to rebook? But if you want to be very specific on who gets the credit for that, you can always remind the staff rebookings prompt to assign particular staff members their credit so that you can perhaps have a colorist and a stylist that each reminded the employee or <clears throat> sorry a colorist and a stylist that each reminded the customer that they need to schedule their visit so you can actually say this colorist and this stylist both reminded the customer that they need to come back in X amount of time so those two portions again under general appointment book rebookings prompt to assign employee credits and under sales point of sale ask to rebook so let's jump back to PowerPoint and let's continue okay so now that we know what we can set in shortcuts, what are the incentives for getting the staff to remind customers that they should be following up? So one of the things you can do is actually preload gift cards and have them available for clients who pre-book their future appointments. It can be a few dollars, it can be a certain percentage, and you can also remind customers that they can use gift certificates on certain products if you choose. You can also set up a promotion system in shortcuts based on the trends that you notice. So if you're running your report for an entire year and you know exactly what happens in January, what happens in February, you can say during these months, then we'll offer either a service discount or a combination service and product discount. So you can always set up your promotions over time you can always set up these promotions in advance so starting now you can actually take a look at the next nine months the next 10 months worth of promotions and target those specific points where there's a dip the other thing you want to do is start utilizing your online booking a lot of customers are on the go as you know during this holiday season they're at the mall they're out with their friends they're out with their family they're doing a lot of traveling and they don't necessarily have the time to jump on a computer or get on the phone, but as long as they have their smartphones with them, they can make an appointment online. So you want to remind them, if you have your email set up, if you have Gcast and you're using your Set and Forget campaigns, you can remind them they can make an appointment 24 hours a day using the online booking service. And Shortcuts is now, at least in the USA and a few other countries, announcing the My Salon app. So you can also use the My Salon app to get customers to use online booking. So remember, you're, you can use targeted emails, you can use your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, you know, follow us on Twitter, receive X amount on your campaign. Tag your favorite photos on Instagram. Again, they get some sort of benefit. And that helps keep these numbers up during the holiday season. So always an incentive to rebook both for the client side and both for the employee side. So this is pretty brief, but you should now have a sense as to how do you identify your quiet times in the business? Using your scorecard, using your reports and shortcuts, how to use the shortcuts rebooking tool, making sure that the appropriate employees get the credit for getting the customers to rebook. Know how to entice the clients and employees. So use incentives for the staff members. If your employees start to do an uptake in percentage for the number of rebookings, you may reward them, giving them a preferential shift, for example, or also providing them with a gift card if they're getting customers to rebook. And you should also know how to measure your rebookings. So there are a few reports and shortcuts, and we took a look at them. So you should now be able to spot a trend, see how you can help out your customers and your staff members, optimize those bookings, especially through the start of the year. Okay, now it's time for questions and answers. 
So on the right side of your screen, let's go to the toolbar. And if somebody has a question, we'll give you a few moments. And we can also review this in shortcuts. So I'll give you a moment and either through the Q&A window or through the chat window. And let me scroll through just to make sure nobody asked a question yet. Okay, everybody can hear me. All right, let's see, nothing from Tina. <laughs> Vicky, you usually have a question or two. Yvonne, any questions? And I have a staff person here. Okay, it looks like everybody is good here. So we'll go to the next portion. So we do have a special this month. And again, not only are the customers really busy at this point of the season, but usually you are super busy too. So just to remind you, we can set up a holiday email for you. We can run it by you. If you have a special promotion or a special event, we can help you build your campaign and, of course, send it out to your customers. So, of course, details on this are available online and we'll, of course, be making this webinar available in just a few moments. Okay, so don't forget you can register for future webinars on the Shortcuts webpage. And we have an entire library of all of our previous webinars on the library. And in a few moments, this presentation will be available online as well. If you have any follow-up questions or if you think of something after or if you just need a review on which sorts of reports would be best, you can always contact us. And I'm available most of this week. I'll be here up until Thanksgiving. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and you can also ask us questions that way. Any tips, any advice, we also provide it on our social media pages. Okay, and that concludes our webinar. Thanks for attending, and we hope you have a great holiday season. Bye, everybody. <laughs>